Hello everyone, welcome back to Suflon. Suflon is India's most sincere learning destination for the classes 1 to 10. Here we are providing 100% live and interactive classes and personalized attention batch with maximum 6 students. So everyone, welcome to Suflon and welcome to our today's session. And over here, these are our key features. Detailed progress report, Suflon Academy test series and you can take unlimited practice tests from Suflon and subjective tests for school exams. So everyone book your free trial class today itself and get ready to enjoy the art of learning with Suflon. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon and you will never miss any important updates from us. Alright. So today we are going to learn about work and energy. And these are the objectives of today's class. So such as what is work and what is the energy and what is the relation between work and energy. So these are the main three topics we are going to cover by this lesson. All right. And we have a friend in the other slide and his name is Rahul. So he has a lot of doubts. So can you clarify all those? Yes, let's try together. So we all are aware with the word work, right? Every day we are hearing this word so many times. Like, what is the work? Can you define a few more works that you're doing everyday basis? Yes, dancing, you're right, swimming, Climbing, so many more. We are doing a lot of work on every day. Like, uh, right? Yes. So, what is the work? Can you define it? All right. Please keep that in your mind. We will learn more. So, how much work we did while pushing the wall? So, that is the Rahul's question. Can you try it? Let's stand up. And let's try to push the wall. Try it harder and let's see what will happen. So we might think that we used or we have a lot of work since we are trying to move the wall with all of our energy. Right? Do you think the same? Yes. All right. And let's see. So does the wall move after pushing it with all of our energy? Did it move? No, right? Of course, no. The wall does not move since there is no movement, there is no work. If there is no movement and there is no work, so we cannot uh, group pushing the wall under the work. So, but why? Why there is no work done? So, what is the question? That's a relevant question, right? We can ask ourselves, why there is no work done when we push the wall? The answer is really simple because it didn't move. So what is the work? We can define the work with a simpler, simpler sentence like look at this boy. Okay, this boy applied some force. So force means he just kicked the ball. So the ball is the object and the ball moved forward with the force, right? So that is the work. Work said to be done if the force is applied on the body and the body changes its position. So the displacement is mandatory. So the displacement is the important factor within the work. If there is no displacement or movement, then we cannot consider the thing as the work. All right. So let's discuss can the work done be positive, negative or zero? What do you think? Yes, we can. The displacement occurs in the direction of the force. And it is positive work done. When the displacement occurs opposite direction to the force, then it's negative work done. So can you please give me an example of the positive work? Do you remember the boy kicked the ball, right? So the boy was over here. The boy was over here and he gave, applied the force in this direction and this was the ball and it moved to this direction, right? So th this is the positive 
work. Good job. So, can you give an example for the negative work? Can you? All right. So, we ask, okay, what happens when we are driving a car? If we put suddenly the brake, what will happen? It will stop, right? Yes. So, that is the negative work, which means the force is in the opposite direction of the movement. All right. So, the positive work example. Look at this girl. She showed the arrow and there is a movement. She gave force in this direction and it moved, right? So, it's a positive work. And look at this one. The Bo the boy or the guy is moving the trolley, like pushing. So, this guy, the worker is pushing it. So, this guy is pulling it and this guy is pushing. So, the force is in the same direction. So, the object is moving. So, it is an example for the positive work. Now, this is an example of zero work because the object, the object is the wall. Even though we applied the force, it didn't move, so there is no work done. So, we can consider it as the zero work. All right. Now, examples were work done is zero. If we are sitting, simply sitting and we are not doing anything for us, so which means there is no motion within that and which is considered to be no work or zero work. All right. For example, your dog is sleeping for us and it's not moving. It's not work and it's a zero work. So, tell me some examples where work is done and some examples work, where work is not done in our daily life. So, can you give me an example for this one? Yes, alright. Some examples of the work done such as boy playing the football, swimming and moving the cart and climbing this climbing and walking all those are examples for the work done all right and some examples of work not done like pushing a heavy object but it don't move it doesn't move which means zero work and working on computers it's a zero work again reading a book is a zero work again so which these are the examples for work not done and let's study the conditions required to do work. Mainly, there are two conditions for the work done. Such as, we have to apply one force. Force should act on the object. And the next one, the second one, object must be displaced. It should be put, there should be a proper displacement or movement within the position of the object after we applied the force then only we can consider as the work done we try to push the wall with all of our energy but what is the energy that is the next relevant question so we are done with the work and we can define energy if you want to do something we need something in our body that is the energy right yes Imagine you didn't eat anything for several days and on the next day you have a running competition. Can you win it? Of course not because you don't have any energy to perform to the, the contest, right? Yes. So energy is the ability to do work. So please write it down or take note. Energy is the ability to do the work. Look at this person. Has weightlifting. So, he needs a lot of energy in his body. That is why he is able to do it. So, where do we get this energy from? We have several resources. And the main resource is the food. And where do we get our food from? Mainly, we are getting food from the plants and animals. From the plants, we will get fruits and vegetables. And uh, the wheat, the cereals, rice and vegetables, so many more. And from the animals, we will get milk. So, we can make it, make the curd and cheese. And we will get the egg and meat. And these are the animal products. So, over here, from all these foods, we will get certain amount of energy. So, do you know that sun is the primary source of energy? It's a great natural source. And we can convert this 
energy from the sun which is known as a solar energy into different forms so one of the main greatest use of solar energy is the photosynthesis so the leaves are known as the food factory or the food kitchen within the plants so the leaves actually collects the energy from the sun the sunlight and the water and the nutrients and the carbon dioxide to do the photosynthesis and which is a photosynthesis means the preparation of the food and energy for the plants and look at this one this is the plant photosynthesis all right so it gets the sunlight right yes and let's discuss how as work and energy related to each other so over here look at this one energy should be transferred to an object in order to move it transferring energy can be in the form of force so always always keep in that in your mind like we have to apply one force and so this amount of energy transferred by the force to move an item object is called work or work done so which means the energy and the work is related to each other the relation between work and energy is the direct one all right i hope you understood the topic and over here time to revise and this is the first question a person runs on treadmill for 30 seconds how much work is done by the person i want you to find the answer for this question and please comment below if you are a genius to get this answer and the next one what is work work means we are applying a force to an object and there is a displacement within the object so which is known as the work we can divide the work into positive work negative work and zero work so can you give me some examples for the work done such as swimming playing football and climbing the stairs all these are the examples and what is energy we do get energy from so the ability to do the work is known as the energy and we get energy from the food the food we get from the plants and animals all right very good job for listening and all right this is a value based question a man a man is a student of class 9 he saw an old man trying to keep his box on the roof of a bus but was unable to do so a man picked up his box and placed the box on the roof of the bus the the old man thanked a man so question number 1 is a work done by aman while placing the box on the roof of the bus is positive or negative can you get the answer it's a positive so is a work done by the gravity on the box positive or negative it's a negative so gravity acts like this so it's in the direction but the book was over here on top so it's a negative work so what values are shown by aman aman is a helpful guy and he has a lot of moral values and be like a man and let's play an activity over here all right in which of the following you are doing the work swimming kicking the ball moving the cart is all of them right let's check the answer it's correct very good job and plants make their own food using the sunlight with the process which is known as photo synthesis do you remember the plants uses the carbon dioxide and the sunlight to produce the food very good and over here moon is a prime source of energy is it true or false what do you think it's false because the sun is the greatest source very good so all right okay and in this chapter we learned about the scientific meaning of work meaning of energy and the relation between work and energy so thank you everyone for coming today i hope you enjoy the session and keep practicing at home thank you please remember to press the bell icon and you won't never miss any important updates and please like if you like the session thank you everyone bye